However, Schmedium works. <laughs> Welcome back with Jeff Nelson, rejoined by Nelly. He's got a little time off from the show today. I'm Craig Benervini. Big news around baseball. Hall of Fame ceremonies will occur later in the afternoon. Four gentlemen are going in. One with a very, very strong Marlins connection, and that is a man named James Richard Leland. You know, I, I was reading a little bit about him because I knew I know him very well. He's a very nice man and a well-deserving, outstanding manager. You didn't realize, or I didn't realize, that he spent 18 seasons in the minor leagues as a player, as a coach. Tony Larusa gave him his first job as a third base coach in the White Sox, the White Sox organi yep. organization. Got his first managerial job as a Pirate. He actually thought it was a joke because after I think the year before they were they were terrible. I think they lost over 100 games. They wound up winning three pennants or, or yeah three division titles there when he was with the Pirates. Barry Bonds is manager there. You see his numbers World Series champion in 97. Uh, just an outstanding human being and well deserved. Congratulations to Jim Leland. Dave Dabrowski brought him over to manage that 97 team. And in the very first year, he won his only world championship of his now Hall of Fame career. And I asked him earlier this week what that meant to him. It certainly helped my cause to get to the Hall of Fame. I don't think there's any question about that. If we hadn't won it or won one somewhere, I probably would not have gotten in. So obviously that's got to rank right up there. The emotion is very special for me for this reason. We had come close in Pittsburgh to getting there and we never quite got there. So I knew how tough it was to get that accomplished. So I think, you know, that's always the, you know, that's the pinnacle. You want to end up being the world champion. He managed 3,499 games in his spectacular